Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Miss Linda C. Jones, and sitting before you are my dear friends Stacy and Amanda. And hey, and they're going to tell you about something that I've never heard of before, which I think is amazing. By the way, shout out, we're here celebrating our beloved, wonderful, amazing Christina and her birthday. So love you, Christina. We'll show you this later. All right, so anyway, I found out at this phenomenal party about a cookbook club, but there's more to it. So Stacy and Amanda are going to tell you guys about it. Y'all don't mind if this goes on YouTube, right? All right, take it away, ladies. <laughs> Our friends had a book club and it was kind of lulling and lagging and wasn't really going anywhere and we had dwindling numbers so we decided to instead of like reading fiction and talking about a certain book, we would pick a cookbook and every month we meet at a house and um, everyone would cook a recipe from that particular cookbook. That is flipping amazing. But then it gets better because then it's a party and and so tell us more about that. So everyone um, brings their spouse. Um, it's seven couples, so there's 14 of us. Because everybody has to host, everyone has to cook, um, and everyone has to cook for this whatever cookbook we pick. So it could be Game of Thrones, or Tiffany Amber Thiessen, or Thug Kitchen, or Will It Waffle. It's crazy. Um, today is the Amy Sedaris book. Um, oh, I love her. She's hysterical. The book is Hilarious. Hysterical. So basically, this is a phenomenal way to fellowship, to socialize, to learn different ways to cook. So, as I was asking you ladies earlier, would you ever be willing to do a keto night? Yes. We did vegan with Sun Kitchen. Okay. And we were all very surprised at how delicious it was, even though we were very surprised that Sun Kitchen was vegan. Um, but, you know, we made some little allowances, like instead of eating yeast um, cheese, we, we just had regular cheese. Because we all called each other and were like, this is vegan. Oh my god. What? Like, no. What are we doing? What are we thinking? Because we had too much to drink at the previous couple of clubs. And um, we, we didn't do our research and we picked a vegan. It was disgusting. But you ended up liking it. <laughs> Um, there is a, a, a channel out there, it's phenomenal, and I'll give a shout out to Flav City, he has a YouTube channel, he and his wife have a cookbook, um, and it's all keto recipes, but I watch them a lot, it's absolutely delicious, but basically it's lots of meat, vegetable, salad, but I can get full, I think most people can get full on vegetables and salad and meat. And he's all about the flavor, like it's mega flavor. So I understand that his book is like number one on Amazon, and I mega won his book. So hey, Bobby, I'm giving you a shout out, and you don't even know me. But ladies, I think y'all would love his cookbook. See, that's how like we discover new cookbooks. People tell us, and we're like, hey, at the next cookbook club, I think we should do this that is awesome. So, Amanda, give us your input. So when when this beautiful woman right here that we love so much, when she said, okay, we're going to do this, what were your thoughts? And then what were your thoughts after? Like, I guess, how did you feel once you attended? Well, when I got involved, um, I got involved in the second one because no spouses went to the first one. So the second one I was actually really freaked out because I am not a cooker and my cooking skills are god awful. Um, so this actually has made me learn, uh, which has been fun. Uh, we cooked turkey tetrazzini out of a Mad Men cookbook from the 50s. Uh, it was so good. Hot in my house. 
house. It was so good. But the cooking was so hard because it was a 50s recipe, so we dirtied everything. And we found a family recipe. We did Confederacy of Dunces, and the Dunnikes are famous for their oyster patties and Christmas Eve. And we found a recipe for that. that oh, wow. Mary had given my grandma the we found the New Orleans recipe in this cookbook by coincidence. So. That sounds amazing. So when you just talked about the mess that was made, that's that's my next question. Who does the cleanup? Whoever host has to do the cleanup. Okay, that so means. We all stay and we all like take the lard dishes and help pack up everything. You know, leave like solo pumps everywhere and you know trash the house. But, yeah, it's actually been a it's been a super fun experience and it's really been a way for us to be a part of our community and get to know people. Um, people that we probably wouldn't have spent a lot of time with, so it's a lot more about community and cooking. And in New Orleans, you know, food is a way to make a community. Food is life. We have so many yeah. places, and I enjoy the heck out of it. We look forward to it every time. Yeah. Well, I think that you beautiful ladies have just given everyone, the world, an idea. Because uh, seriously, I had never heard of this before. I think it's flipping awesome. I think it's awesome. And like you were saying, a great way to be together. So, as we wrap up this video, because we're here to celebrate your aunt, our dear friend. Um, love you, Christina. Thank you for being in my life. Messages for Christina. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Many, many, many more. I always tell her she has a beautiful Christ light and the world needs more Christinas. So, oh, right? Yeah. The world needs more Christinas. Well, I can't thank you ladies enough. Please tell everybody to like, subscribe, share, and comment because I only need about 600 more subscribers <laughs> and I'll be monetized again. Yay! So spread the word. Love you ladies. Thank you. Love you too, Linda. Bye, everybody. Bye.